Many of the best-selling books and most popular seminars offer advice on how to get the most out of life. Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, The Power of Positive Thinking, Five Simple Ways to Increase Your Intelligence. To the contrary, God didn't make you to get the most out of life. You were created to add life on earth, not just to take away from it. God designed you to make a difference with your life. You were put here on earth to make a contribution, not just consume resources. He wants you to give something back. Paul said, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. That's Ephesians 2 and verse number 10. These good works are your service. Whenever we serve others in any way, we're actually serving God. And we're also fulfilling the purpose for which God has planned for your life from the beginning. Matthew 25 verse 40 says, Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me. Kindness is not merely a gift we give the deserving. It's an obligation we owe anyone in need. Now, I'm not advocating salvation by human compassion. Jesus is not prom promoting salvation by service. He's saying, however, that service is not optional equipment. Of himself, Jesus said, the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. That's Matthew 20, verse 28. Jesus came to serve and to give. And these two verbs characterize the Christian life. Serving is really the opposite of my natural incl inclination. Most of the time, I'm more interested in serve us than service, if you know what I mean. I've read that some churches in China welcome new believers by saying this, Jesus now has a new pair of eyes to see with, new ears to listen with, new hands to help with, and a new heart to love others with. I like that. You were placed on this earth on special assignment. As Paul said to Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 9, It is he who saved us and chose us for his holy work, not because we deserved it, but because that was his plan. God redeemed you so that you could do a holy work. You're not saved by service, but you were saved for service. In God's kingdom, you have a place, you have a purpose, you have a role, you have a function to fulfill. And to me, this truth is energizing. It gives me life, it gives me value, it gives me purpose and, and significance. God has created you for serving in a very specific way. What God told Jeremiah is also true for you. Before I made you in your mother's womb, he said, I chose you. Before you were born, I set you apart for a special work, God's word to Jeremiah in chapter 1, verse 5. But that's his word for you as well. You have been healed to help others. You've been blessed to be a blessing. You've been saved to serve, not just sit around and wait for heaven. In some of his last words on earth, Jesus said to his disciples, love one another as I have loved you. And that's his calling. That's his invitation. That's our privilege as followers of Christ. 